it's Chessa with Checker. Welcome to our bi-weekly What's New Live. Quilt shops from all over the world depend on Checker for the newest fabrics and notions. So you can find us here every other Wednesday. If you're watching now, I assume you already like us and follow us, but if not, be sure to hit that like button. And you can even turn on notifications to receive a reminder when we are live. It's always fun to see where you're watching from, so leave a comment with your shop name and location. Maybe I'll give you a shout out. If you're new to our shows, welcome. Here are some other great ways to stay up to date with what's new in the industry. We actually add new products to our website every single day. So they're super easy to find. You just go to our website, you click whatever category it is, you know, batting, notions, crafts, and then you'll see a drop down menu. And then you're just gonna pick newest to oldest, and then you'll always be up to date. The drop down also has other features like you can do top selling, and that's always great to check out every once in a while. Um, you can also join our private Facebook page, our group, it's a group, subscribe to our YouTube channel, our newsletter, and make sure you watch your inbox. These are all great ways to stay up to date. Don't forget this video is going to remain on Facebook. So if you have a customer and you need to step away or something comes up or you're not even watching live, no problem. The video is going to stay here forever and ever and ever. So you can come back and rewatch it or take a second look. Um, always, as always, to make ordering easy, in the description of this video is a link to all the items that will specifically be shown today. If you have a question or you missed something, you didn't catch it, you want to see it again, let me know, drop it in the comments, and Sasha or Cindy will make sure I see it, and then we will get that answered for you or show it to you again. In honor of National Sewing Month, we have a surprise giveaway at the end, so stay tuned. Who do we have today? Hello, Janice from Nebraska. Hello, Mary from Little Max, Michigan. Thanks for tuning in today. Hello, Stacy from Minnesota. Hello, Michelle from Graceful Maryland Quilt Shop. Hello, Farmer's Daughter Quilts in Iowa. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope everybody's enjoying their Wednesday. It's nice and sunny here. We got a little breeze. I'm wearing my flip flops, so it's my favorite time of the year. Let's start with some new books from Martingale. First up is Welcome to Woodbury Way. This is a sparkling collection of quilts and home accents that will bring you joy. Make the most of your favorite pre-cut strips and squares as you sew delightful quilts, pillows, and even a rag rug. Whether you want modern or classic design, the projects are sure to complement your decor. What about if you're short on time, but you're keen on style? The big book of quick to finish quilts has 54 fast to finish patterns. Projects range from pretty and petite pieces to large snuggly lap quilts and just about everything in between. Dive into your fabric stash or swing by the local quilt shop and you'll be on your way to a fantastic finish in no time. And there's another big book. This one is the big book of hand embroidery. Again, this is from Martingale. So you're just gonna sit back and unwind as you surround yourself in the art and fun of hand embroidery. You'll find 52 projects, including tiny treasures, tea towels, small quilts and runners, bags, pouches, 
and even note cards, all designed to give your hands something beautiful to stitch while you kick back and relax. Gather your favorite threads and flosses, scissors or snips, and a thimble, and prepare to embroider the evening away. Japanese master quilt artist Yoko Sato presents an outstanding collection of 26 small and pretty projects in this handheld patchwork treasures book from Martingale. Each project can be made fairly quickly and fits in the palm of your hands. Patterns include clever pouches, house shaped boxes, um, you got a dragonfly mini quilt, a sewing kit, a mobile phone case, and much, much more. You're going to want to check it out. From CNT Publishing, you can combine bursts of cotton color with wool wildlife, flowers, and more. Best selling author Kim Schaefer introduces 12 new quilt projects in her beloved whimsical modern folk art style. The quilts are perfect for beginners to explore easy fusible applique projects as well as experienced stitchers who can enjoy these brand new designs. It might not be officially fall just yet, but that's not going to stop me. Just ask my husband, check out our living room. It's fall in this house. <laughs> so let's talk about this pumpkin patches quilt. This is from Cluck Cluck Sew. It measures a generous 60 by 72 inches and it can be made with fat quarters, 10 inch pre-cuts, or even five inch pre-cuts. So not only does that make it beginner friendly, but that makes it scrap friendly. And I am sure you all have tons of scraps laying around that you can cut into the pre-cuts for this pattern behind me. Next up, we have from Primrose Cottage is the Welcome Autumn Cross Stitch. This is part three in the Welcome series and you can see them all on checkerdis.com. You know what comes with fall? Halloween! And So Fun has just the patterns for you. Check out these adorable tote bags. Wouldn't these be great for trick-or-treating? And you have four options. You have this ghost here, You have this monster. There's a black cat. But obviously you can always change the color. You know, maybe you want to make it the color of your furry friend at home. And then you also have this cute pumpkin. So these have sturdy duck cloth back and these nylon webbing handles so that your bag will last for many trick or treats. It finishes at 13 inches wide by 13 inches and three quarters tall. Let's move these out of the way. Now, are you looking for an easy and fun project that you can finish in just an afternoon? This Boo To You door hanger from Cut Loose Press is by Betty Gormick. It incorporates fusible applique, so it goes together very, very quickly. You can hang it or display it on a 12 inch metal frame. Either way, the trick or treaters will love it and it's just gonna add some super cute pizzazz to your house. The last set of fall Halloween themed items I have here are these two and they're from Susan Quilts. First up, Dresden Pumpkins. These are super adorable little piece pumpkins that are made with tiny Dresden plates. 
It's the perfect fall table runner. Also from Susan Quilts is with Tiny Witch Hats. So this is made with the dresden plates as well and a charm pack of just five inch squares. I don't know about you, but I always need help staying organized. So let's check out this It's So I'm a product. Control your creative clutter with this cute storage box from Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet Company. It's adorned with a colorful print, as you can see. Get all my stuff out. It has this sturdy metal pole, which actually it also comes with two little inserts that you can put in here so you can write whatever you would like, whatever you're storing in it. And if you change your mind, it's completely fine because you have an extra one. It also has this foldable spacer. So if you don't have too much in it yet, you can just kind of fold it up and stick it back then. It'll help keep your cards towards the front. You can use this to organize your stitch cards, your cross stitch fabrics, your floss, your sewing supplies, or anything really that your stitchy heart desires. Just put them back in. And even got a blank one. So this comes, um, you have it in the red that you see here. You can also get it in denim as well as teal. We have 12 new 100% cotton double gauze bias from Products Abroad. So these are one inch by 11 yard rolls. So as you can see the double, so they're folded on each side. This bias is a baby blanket soft, and it would be great for binding anything from blankets to children's clothes. And it's also super thin and light, which makes it breathable, breathable as well. We have some great panel and large feature fabric patterns from Ladybug Designs. Let's start with Toss Tiles Quilt. So this is a great example of being a great use for your big feature fabrics or just fabrics you think if you cut it up too small that you're just gonna lose the, the design, the artistic part of the fabric. Happy Borders Quilt. This one is great for a skinnier panel. It helps make it bigger too. And then a Pine Needles Dream Quilt. So this one, as you can see, there's a couple different, you know, maybe five inch square panels and some larger ones, just put all together. And then we have Honeycomb Flowers Quilt. So this is more of a modern kind of geometric design. Make sure to check these and more from Ladybug Designs on checkerdisc.com. Candy Crush 2.0 is from So Hungry Hippie. This is a revamped version of the original Candy Crush quilt. This one uses jelly roll strips in various colors for the focus patchwork skull portion. The pattern includes a bonus mini 16 inch version and instructions for a pillow in tote as well. The Essentials Oils Travel Case Pattern guides you through sewing your own oils case in minimal time. The travel case allows you to carry your oils without fear of breaking the glass containers they come in. This case can hold up to eight 15 milliliter bottles or 16 rollerball bottles, two in each pocket. Each pocket slot has cushioning, and the case has a layer of soft insulation as well. 
You can leave out the pockets if you want a simple zipper case in a flash. Lastly, from So Hungry Hippie, is the Santorini Tote Sewing Pattern. This bag sewing pattern features a zipper top closure as the main bag opening. You have additional zipper pockets on the outside and the inside, and you can almost use any type of straps or handle you wish, including sewable leather straps and webbing. Also included are lots of options to help you build your best bag. Let's continue with another bag. We have the seat belt pouch and wristlet trio from Cozy Nest Designs. These pouches are so versatile. You can use them for makeup, accessories, for travel, or even for everyday use. The kit contains the pattern, the seat belt wrist or the seat belt webbing, and the wristlet hardware. You just need to add fabric for your inside, um, the interfacing as well as the zippers. The seat belt webbing is extremely durable, it's easy to clean, and it's easy to sew on a home machine. We have kit options available as well as refills, so make sure you check those out on checkerdisc.com. A great gift for any sewing friend is the 2022 That Patrick Place Quilt Calendar from Martingale. The calendar features 12 projects, 11 quilts, there is one with a bonus pillow, and one framed wool applique piece. So this is representing a variety of styles and sizes including rows, wall hangings, and framed artwork. The 20th edition of this annual favorite comes with both the calendar and a 28-page pull-out booklet featuring step-by-step -step instructions for every project. Do you need a fun gift that can be completed in just a few hours? and learn some new techniques along the way. The Log Cabin Cozies from Cut Loose Press is the perfect choice. With a minimal investment in time and fabric, you can learn a clever quilt as you go technique, as well as how to use the Creative Grids Log Cabin Trim Tool to make and showcase three different variations of a log cabin block. And then you can learn how to incorporate wedges cut with the Creative Grids 15 degree triangle ruler to create the shapes you need to fit your cup. Oops. Now we're gonna switch over to a Christmas theme. We actually have a few more samples from Cut Loose Press. The first up are a set of wreaths from Betty Gorman. Her newest is the Christmas wreath door hanger. That would make a super cute hat. The only sewing required for this guy is the stitching around the leaves to secure the fusible fleece to the fabric. Everything else is done, can be done by anyone who just loves the craft. Um, it finishes at 18 inches and that makes it so it's just gonna make an impact if it's hanging on your door people can see it driving by you could also put it on the inside of your door so you see it all day every day not just when you come home then we also have this holiday tree wreath ornament this is also by Betty Gormick this one's not new, but it's a constant top seller come the holidays. And it's an easy and fun, no machine sew project. So you just need to dust off that iron and you are ready to go. It's a great way to teach the loved ones in your life how to sew a button on as well. It's just a good thing to be able to know how to do. We've all been in a pinch and need to be able to put your button back on. So that's just an added bonus. 
Lastly, from Betty Gormick and Cutloose Press, is the Santa Stop Here door hanger. This door hanger incorporates fusible applique so it goes together very quickly. You can hang it or display it on a 12 inch metal frame. Either way, Santa's gonna love it. From Luminous Fiber Arts is the Christmas Bird Trio. These cute birds are ready to celebrate Christmas. They are a fun and quick stitch that will add some holiday cheer to any home. This ornament, ornament, ornament <laughs> set features a wren with a candy cane. You have a blue jay and a scarf. And then you have a chickadee wearing a Santa's hat. Noelle Rouge includes an ornament, a pillow, a version of this stocking with a name on it. There's also a version without the name on it. There's an alphabet to change the name, a template for a 32 count and 40 count stockings, as well as the awesome detailed finishing instructions that all patterns come with. Moving to February, we have a Valentine's Day. From Luminous Fiber Arts is Bluebird's Message. So this is a sweet Valentine's Day design with a kind of vintage feel. I'll hold it up a little higher so you can get a little better review. As you can see, the Bluebird is holding the tail of a heart-shaped balloon. Um, then there are words, be mine, written in cursive. Around the balloon, there are pink hearts, and then the piece is surrounded by a pink lace border, which is absolutely adorable. And going back to fall, I know we're all over the board, we've gone through the entire year of holidays and seasons, but now we're back to fall, specifically Halloween, because the, um, Luminous Fiber Arts has this pattern haunted here that is perfect for stitchers who love a cute and spooky Halloween. Um, you can frame, as you can see here, or finish the design. Um, Haunted is the main design, this one here. You got your ghost, your black cat, October 31st. But then you also have these smaller ornaments. You have Boo, Spooky, and Eek. And then we have from Hudson's Holiday Designs. This is called Halloween Faux Cross Stitch Embroidery Ornament Pattern. You can learn how to embroider on dark fabric the easy way. These make great bowl fillers and little shelf sitters. 17 designs are included. There's a pumpkin, some cats, ghosts, there's even words, there's sayings, and even, even more. And then you're not going to want to forget about the spooky needle minders. They have a candy corn, a ghost, as well as a knife. These are all from Hudson's Holiday Designs and they are cut from wood. From So Fun, we have this baby puzzle ball. It's a colorful and engaging developmental toy. It's a one-of-a-kind baby shower gift. It's easy, it's fun. You might wanna make one for yourself to play with. Um, it's a variation of the classic Amish puzzle ball. And this cuddly patchwork ball has a lot of places for you to get your hands through, to hold on to it. And an awesome thing about it is, as you can see, it has like all these flat areas on it. So the ball's not really gonna roll away because it's going to end up settling. So you don't have to worry about your kid crying and then, oh shoot, where to go? And then you have to search everywhere for it. It's not going to go far. And it also has two size options. This one is the smaller. Also from So Fun, we have this easy strip piece quilt. It's nice sand castles. 
like a day at the beach. I'm always imagining I'm at the beach. That also has pattern for another ball. This one looks like a little beach ball. This ball itself is eight inches in diameter. The quilt is a 45 inch square. So let me move this out of the way so we can talk about the giveaway, everybody's favorite part. For those of you who did not know, did not hear me earlier, this month is National Sewing Month. So to celebrate, we have a mystery giveaway bundle. If you look really close, it's not a mystery because it's not bundled up. You can still see stuff, but you might find something from uh, Creative Grit or maybe an item from Cutlass Press, maybe the Gypsy Quilter as long, along with some other goodies. If you want to find out exactly everything that is in this, you are gonna to need to enter to win it. And that means being a Checker customer and being a member of Checker's private Facebook group. The giveaway will be posted on our private Facebook group um, later today. To enter, simply put your shop name and location in the comments, plus like the post, like the post, like the post. That is a stipulation, you must do that. Uh, if you're not a member of Checkers private Facebook group, we are going to post a link in the comments here in a little bit um, to make it easier for you to just hop on over and join. You will have until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this coming Friday, September 10th, to register to win this week's giveaway. I'm going to give some more shout outs while we're going to make sure we didn't miss any questions. Hello to Patricia from Arizona. Hey Susan from Susan Quilts. I hope you were tuned in to see your patterns that we showed. Hello Christy from Valley Quilts in Ohio. Hello Odrin from Norway. Hello to Tony in Georgia from So Blessed. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure you get those questions in. I forgot to warn you guys when we were getting close to the end so you could get the questions in. That's my bad. So we're going to give you a little bit just in case you do have something or you want to see something again. As always, there's a link in the description to everything, so that's also really helpful. Um, Audrey from Pink Petunias in Canada, thanks for tuning in. Hello Carla Jean from Quilting Crazy in Florida. Tony from River Valley Fabrics in Iowa, appreciate you guys tuning in every week. The, or every other week. It's the highlight of my every other week. Hello, Tina from Alpha to Omega Quilting in Ohio. I don't think we have any questions today. You know, sometimes that kind of makes me sad, but it makes me happy that we explained everything so well that you don't have to have questions or that you know you can reach out to your sales rep or that you can go on the website to get more of an in-depth description that are on the items as well as Sometimes there's additional photos, product videos. Subscribe, like we said earlier, to our YouTube channel. That's a great way to keep up to date with project videos. I don't know about you guys, I'm a visual learner, so I love seeing the videos. Hello, Jean from So and So in Arkansas. Hello, Mary from Stitched Memories in Alabama. I think we're gonna go ahead and sign off for the day. I'm gonna get back to work. Um, if I happen to miss your question, I am so sorry. Or if you have a question after we're done, make sure you go ahead and drop that in there. Um, and make sure to check back because we do monitor the video. So we will get your answer, your, your question answered. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here on Wednesday, September 22nd. That's a wrap.